Hey everybody, so today I'm here to share not only a Little Mermaid birthday supply haul, but also to show you guys how everything turns out afterwards. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I will link as much as I can down below. So first thing, that really doesn't have to do with the party, but her actual birthday, and that is some treats to hand out at school. I did want to mention this because Sophie does have to have allergy-friendly treats at school. So this brand I actually found from Target. And with Sophie's birthday being right around Halloween time, it's just kind of perfect because they make these kind of bulk candies to hand out. So I got these two candy corn and then some suckers, and then I got these iridescent favor bags from Walmart that were only like a dollar. So that's what she's going to be handing out at school. And then kind of some boring stuff. I have our stuff for the party as far as like cups, plates, and cutlery go. I've used this brand for countless birthdays now. I've been very, very happy with them. And then a lot of this stuff that you see that is like generic party supplies I found from Birthday Direct. I really liked this kind of new aerial take that looked almost like an illustration version of her and I found this on birthday direct it wasn't at really any store that I could find when searching for more stuff I did find out that Michaels has it but only on online so I would look out for that I did get three packs of these flounder napkins I mean how cute are these I just love that look and then I got a few of the dessert plates that are all the same but it's Ariel with the little dingle hopper and then I also did get a tablecloth to match this as well so it's just Ariel and then there's flounder and then I also did get a couple of bags back there that I'm going to try and fit some of her birthday presents inside. I also bought these a really long time ago, back when Walmart did have a dedicated Little Mermaid section for birthday supplies. They've since replaced it. They've since kind of just done a generic all princesses. But I got these in case I couldn't find any bows for her sisters to wear, which I'm thankful for because I kind of forgot about them. And then to get into the decorations, this is going to be her name banner each and every year. I get a banner off of Etsy with their names. I put this up in their bedroom whenever we're done. So it's kind of fun and they really do enjoy these. But this one is from Crafty Decor and I am super impressed. There was a lot of communication between her and I about when I needed it, about her changing some stuff up just to better the quality of the banner and everything. And I'm just super happy with her purchase. So stay tuned for the rest of the video to see this thing laid out but it is gorgeous and then i did get some fishnet i am going to use this to hold some balloons and then i also did get this is like one of those kind of what is this even called it's a backdrop but oh foil fringe is technically like what this stuff is called so i got that to hang up behind the food table I also found these. I think they're technically for a fish tank, but I thought that they'd be cute kind of inter intermittently placed within the food and like not in the food, but like around it on the food table. Then here are the balloons. I got these two off of Amazon and then I got this pack from Etsy. It's got different size balloons, different colors, kind of what I was looking for. Anything that I kept trying to put together myself on Etsy or on Amazon just ended up costing way too much. So that's what I went with. And then over here is some stuff for her cupcakes. Along with the cupcakes, I also do cookies every year. I have those done at a baker's and we do the first letter of their name, the age that they're turning, and then also something to do with the party. So we are doing the number five the letter s and then also i think it was a starfish that i chose i can't really remember though but i did get this number five candle in her favorite color and then i found these off of amazon they're little mini forks that i'm going to stick in the cupcakes as dingle hoppers and then along with the dingle hoppers i thought it'd be cute to put some seashells kind of like in her hair on there with it. And I got these off of Etsy as well from that Etsy shop right there that you can see. And so far, like obviously I haven't taken them out of the packaging, but feeling them, they feel like really good quality. And then lastly to do with her party, I got this shirt off of Mercari, I think. And it is brand new, never been worn. The tag is still on it, but it is from Kohl's. It is from that limited edition collection I told you guys about between Jumping Beans, which is the Kohl's brand, and also Disney. I just loved this shirt. 
I mean, this dress is one of my favorites of hers, but also it's just very different, but still obviously on theme. And then I found this bow. It's a Cat and Jack bow from Target. So that's what she's going to be wearing. And then there's a couple things for the day of her birthday. I found this little deco pack on Amazon that came with Ariel. And it comes with some water for her to kind of like swim in. And then there's flounder right there. If I can get it to focus. So that's how it would look on the cake. And then it also does come with scuttle. But I think I might actually put this on the top of my cupcake tier the day of her party to kind of match the dingle hoppers. But I got this because we are getting her a store-bought cake that she requested. But they didn't have an aerial kind of theme. So I gave them a generic idea of what I wanted. And I'm just going to stick this on top of the cake. And then I did get another tablecloth cover back when Walmart had that section. So that is everything as far as decorations and supplies go for her party, the day of her birthday, school, just all of that stuff. So just continue watching to see how all this comes to life.